Amelia CNN is here with a video reaction to RM of BTS and this is the Tiny Dash Home, home concert. concert. That's and right, that's guys. That's right, guys. You told us to re react to this. Oh, hey, we gotta, we gotta bring, bring it, back. it to you. you and know? I've actually seen a few Tiny Desk concerts. You know, like uh, Mac Miller and Anderson Pack, and I like their intimate kind of thing that they got going on. Yeah. You know, they really got great artists on there, man. I really enjoy them. T Pain. Oh yes, sir. I'll buy you a drink. I, I'm, I'm sorry, Ooh, I can't wee. sing. But T Pain was killing that shit. Yeah, and I think he made people realize that he can actually sing. Bro. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Toby yeah. and Eber was another one. Yep. So, so I guess we already know that Tiny Desk Concert has amazing artists on it, and it's only right that they, they bring out R M. And you guys voted on this too, so we made sure to bring it to you guys right away, La Familia, because we care about your vote. Yes, but sir. yes. Either way, guys, we are here for R M of BTS. Guys, we're not going to waste any more time talking. We're going to get straight to the reaction. Before we do, don't forget to like. like Comment, subscribe, and join La Familia on the road to 40k. But let's get into this. Let's go. So he says explicit language. He curses? Everyone curses. Yo, business casual? Okay. This song is called See Y'all. I am not gonna lie, we, me and you wore this almost exact outfit as him for your birthday. The, the oh, yeah. turtleneck, the chains, and the and and, and the suit jacket. Definitely. Yo, classic yeah, look. You definitely, classic you look. definitely wore that. Hey, yo, I, I just wore you know, the turtleneck. Well, what can I say? I I, I got impeccable taste. All right, you know, I, you know, just I'll, like I'll RM. Just like RM. You know what I'm saying, man? So if you, if you ever want to, you know, get hit the clubs, bro, I, I I I can dress something like you. It'll be it'll be valued at way less than what you got on. But I look I look. Somewhat decent enough to be next to him. Either way, I really do want to mention too, though. This is why I love Tiny Desk concerts, man, because there's always a live band behind him, yeah. and I think music sounds always better, no matter who it is or where it is. Live the live band. But also, this is a song called "See All," and this is, I believe, off his latest album that just dropped. So check it out, guys. Stream those numbers up. Get, let's get those numbers up. I mean, you guys always do for RM That's and right. BTS because and all members of BTS. They're phenomenal. That's right. yeah, let's yes. be honest here. But let's get back into it. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Peace. 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 Bro, this song is making me think of Chicago, bro. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie to you, bro. Like this song is it's 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 a song of like man, it's that song of like bro, like you know when like, like you grow up somewhere, bro, right? Your entire life, bro, and you just and and you and you love and hate it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? It's, it's, it's that love, it's love, love and hate relationship. relationship. Yeah, and that's why, like, I really, en I really enjoy a few of these, a few of these lines in here, bro, where he was just like, um, "Your name is Seol, but why does it sound just like soul? Mm -hmm. You know, or what's to your soul, Seol? You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, like he's he's really playing with a lot of the words here yeah. and really adding a lot of depth to it, man. Like it, it's really that feeling of like, for example, he's like, you know, all my friends say that they want to leave, and I and I just kind of have to fake smile. You know what I'm saying, bro? Because it's like, 
Hmm. Ain't nothing like home, man. Ain't nothing like home. And, and with all its nastiness and all its and all its uh, you know and all its and all perfections, man, you still you still love it. You know, it's still your home, bro. And then, oh my goodness, making me miss Chicago a lot right now. Don't yawn, bro. No, no yawning, no yawning. No, I'm <laughs> Mexicano. Tengo mucho más yawning, güey. No mames. Nah, let's bring it back a little bit. Let's hear this again. Between two, I, I'm loving you and I'm living you. Oh, I'm like, leaving oh, no, 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 no. you. I, I said I'm loving you. I'm leaving you and I'm, I'm living, living you. you, bro. That's that man. That's that's that man. Th this is a really deep song, man. Like it, it can even be like interpreted as like for a person, and you're kind of like that's kind of thing that you're going for, man. But this this is this is a very deep song yeah. where it's about. I mean, shoot, it's even, RM, even, bro. I was just saying, so. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, limitless things that he can be talking about. Exactly, you know? but I mean, it, it really boils down to like you know, you're, you personally. Yeah, you personally. You know what I'm saying? But also, I, I feel like this in this in this sort of a sense, bro. It's like, how do I put it, man? Like, it is it is that like. Like, for example, I know that we feel, we feel homesick sometimes, bro. And we're like, dang, man, like, I miss Chicago, bro, but we had to do something. You know what I mean? We had, we had to do something. We had to try. We had to, we had, we had to try and give it the best shot that we could. And that's what we're doing now. Um, but, yeah, man, Jesus Christ. That was that was a beautiful song. And it was a jam, too. Like, man, that band behind him, bro, like I said, bro, when you have live music interest behind you, bro, it's... Chef's kiss? Chef's kiss, baby. Yeah. Let's get back into this. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's so good to be back. Um, it's so honored to be back. On this legendary show, be back. NPR Tiny Desk. Yeah, so uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the first time he was on was with the group BT. Oh, okay, 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 for so sure. He's saying now it's you know, good. Now he's back. Back. Yeah. Even though he's by himself and individually, you know, I'm glad. I'm great. Uh, I'm graceful to, uh, to actually come back on the Tiny Desk. Well, as we were talking about before, man, you know, with 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 groups like you know SB19, BTS, and Dala, you know, they're all amazing artists on their own as well. I mean, we just reacted to a video where it had Sobronzo on it by yourself on the uh, 16 mm. Bodies. You know what I mean? It's just they, like it's those things. They can Wait. carry their own, bro. Like like they are their own people. They're their own artists, bro. And, and I feel like 
RM is doing a great job of it, of being like, listen, I do love BTS and those guys are like my brothers, but at the same time too, I do have my own ideas, my own things that I want to work out and do on my own. And I think he's doing a great job of it, man. I, I, I really, success to all the, the individual members of all those groups, man. And um, uh, even like Forest Park Boys, same thing, man. Like all like all these guys are so filled with talent. All these guys and girls. K-Click, Forest Park Boys. K -K all of them, bro. Like all of them, bro. There's, 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 so, there's, so there's so many. There's so many. There's so many. many. And it's like a lot of people get so focused on the groups they forget about the individual people, bro. And I feel like having little concerts like this, bro, they're so intimate and they're so like, you really get to, to just- it's like, it's like made for the fans. Exactly. And it's like you funnel you funnel all the attention down to just this one little event, bro, where it's mm -hmm. like you got this little crowd. There's probably not even more than 50 people in that room. That's what I'm saying. It's like, uh, it's like an intimate setting. Yes, you know? bro. But it's so it's intimate, so bro. And you can feel it. You can feel yeah. it through the screen. You know what I'm it saying? It feels like bro? you're there. Oh, for real, Personally. bro. I wish I was there, but shoot. Right. <laughs> this time as a solo. Last time I was in the team, but this time is my first solo NPR Tiny Desk. So I'm truly honored. Um, I go by the name of Arm of BTS. Um, and I'm from Korea. South Korea. So Woo! shout out South Korea. The the song you guys just listened to was so uh, basically, as you know, the capital city, um, which is my second hometown in Korea. Okay. Um, first thing first. My hometown. My second hometown. Right. But he said hometown. Yeah. And what you were thinking earlier was not wrong. <laughs> hey, hey, what can I say? I, it's I a love hate I, relationship. I, I, I love music, man. I love music, you and, live I, and I it and you leave it. You, you can just you can just feel because it was but almost you like love it and you hate it, but you it's still there. Even think about it's the way the song. Out. Even think about the way the song was crafted, bro. He was singing almost like it sounded like kind of like sad and like mm -hmm. remorseful, right? But then the 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 band behind him, bro. Although, although they were a little bit more quiet and stuff like that, bro. They had this kind of like really great great feeling funk behind him, bro. Mm -hmm. Where it's like it's that duality of the thing, bro. It's this love hate relationship, bro. You know, what? I keep saying, bro, bro. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's this it's this love hate relationship. It even reflects it in his lyrics and also like I feel like with the way he constructed the song itself. Yeah. You know, just so, and it's always great to get these little these little um, intimate concerts because of the fact you get to explain things like that. And you get to kind of explain yourself a little more and kind of talk about what made you craft that song. The most important part, I like to introduce our band, the Korean Legends. Um, first, Doc Skim on the keyboard. Doc Skim. Woo! Yeah, killing it. A round of applause. John Eun on the guitar. John Eun. <laughs> Jashin Park on the bass. Mm. Jashin Park. I'm not like that bass Woo! is killing it. Just Last but not least, J.K. Kim on the drum. Let the drummer kick. Woo! The heart, the heart of a band, the heartbeat of a band, right there. <laughs> J.K. Okay, Kim. Okay. Um. Yeah. So that was so. Um. And I just released my uh, first new soul album called Indigo, Indigo. Uh, which is the natural color from the nature, which is my favorite color as well. Hey. Uh. But so it's not the um, not on the album. It's actually from my last mixtape called Mono in 2018. So yeah, I um, Seoul is the city that I spent the most time um, since I started music. So I just always been wanting to make um, a song about Seoul. So this is my collaboration with me and Hone. Uh, shout out to Hone, big time. Um, shout out Hone. Yeah. So Indigo, please, please give a big love to my new first Seoul album, please. And, um, next song would be the first intro, the first track uh, of the album Indigo, and it's about the Korean painter Yoon Hyungun that I have the biggest respect, art industry, and he was always saying that um, you should be, you should firstly be a human mm. uh, before you do some art or you know do something. So uh, the song is inspired by his lifelong message and. Uh, when you see the cover of the album, uh, you could see his painting. So, oh, wow. yeah. Um, next song is about um, the painter and me. You know, the communication, uh, life and death. Ooh. And actually, uh, Erica Badu. Erica Badu mm -hmm. is is on the song, so she was supposed to be here, but <laughs> sadly we we don't got her right now. But still, shout out to Erica oh, Badu. Man. We still and, got you, bro. Uh, if you guys are ready, um, let's kick it. Yes, sir. Let me sip of this water real quick. I feel it. Now I'm thirsty. <laughs> Fuck 
the train set up, I'ma turn back the time, back the time, far to when I was nine. Chongo Kwani, your back here, don't get it. Charlie, get it, got so in got your tongue to tell. It's your job to get so bad that the sun got a chill, good, it's a guy, I had to shit down, it's just sunny, got it, key, that's where you belong. Or you gon' be alone if Moto Wani, you just shin good, go she pang on him. See, Baji, no sashi, Moto Wani, I know him. Go so to Rosso, or so kilo, got your hand on him. Could I have my job to the good old dot dot eat off? Then could I do you go with the flow? You get better. Hey, <laughs> fuck that shit. And the round jay lifestyle. And I ain't shouting the young guys on the pipeline. Yo, Johnny, now, hold up, Dredge, you got me with four. I'm all the boys, you got me with four. Yeah. Yeah. Keep the silence. We keep the silence, boy. Oh, yeah. Do something now. What? Yeah. Yo, be a human. Right, preach. Yeah. I wanna be a human for I do some art. It's a cool world, but it's gonna be my part. Cause true beauty is a true sadness. Now you can feel my madness. Mm -hmm. I wanna be a human. Oh, I do some art. It's a cruel world, but it's gonna be my part. Cause true beauty is a true sadness. Now you can feel my madness. Good man, it's you know. On your side, I mean, good. Yeah, so that's saying, got my gun on it. Yo, you know what? What is it with the techniques? What is it with the skills? What is it with all the words in your lyrics that you can feel? And I'm not sure why I chill. I'm on your own. I'm on your own. I gotta deal with it. Now it's up to a bank, you're dead. But show me you the fucking contemporary. Yo, Johnny Eagle says, Sala, so he look permanently. You know, you don't get weak and some jab it again. Pantishi Kone Yama hit the night, Balagon. Pacha didn't pull Kochin on Jenga Tangaro. Kai Sade, Gossin, Kai Sade, oh. She come off the Kashimja. She will put in the wee, she will smash, Sasa, and Ogato Sengua. Dance with the machine that eat Tang and Nanti got to the game. Now, you're shit. Could you chunk on now? All of you. Keep the silence. We do something now. Yeah, yeah. Go. Be a shoe. Do the death of you now. What? Yo. I wanna be a shoe. For a do some art. It's a cruel world, but it's gon' be my part. Cause true beauty is a true sadness. Now you can feel my madness. I wanna be a human for I do some art. It's a cruel world, but it's gon' be my part. Cause true beauty is a true sadness. Now you can feel my madness. I wanna be a human for I do some art. It's a cruel world, but it's gon' be my part. Cause true beauty is a true sadness. Now you can feel my madness. I wanna be a human. Oh, I do some art. It's a cruel world, but it's gonna be my part. Cause true beauty is a true sadness. Now you can feel my goddamn madness. Yo. Now you can feel my madness. Yo. Yo. Before he starts talking, man, let me pause it real quick because, yo, bro, that, th that song. Jesus Christ, man, like, it doesn't have to be super complex. It don't gotta be super complex, y'all, to make art. It don't gotta be this crazy, like, people are always worried about being the best. And, you know, he said, he had, he had, he had, a, he had something he said in there, bro. He had a line where he was just like, um, where he said, oh, I felt that, where he was just like, you know, how many lines have you written and you didn't really feel it? Mm -hmm. Like, you can't really feel it. Like, yeah, you wrote a cool bar, but is there a feeling behind it for you? Or was it just a cool bar? You know what I mean? And, like, I really feel like, especially when we do this kind of a thing, like, when we do YouTube, guys, like, <laughs> I, I really feel this, bro, because it's like, as like, as like someone who's like, who likes to think of himself as a creative, someone who likes to kind of push the envelope of, of what we try to do, man, we, we really try to bring you guys natural and real reactions and stuff that you guys will really enjoy and really vibe with just because of the fact that it's like, yeah, man, like, yeah, we're human. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, and, and, and like, even for guys who are as big as RM, bro, like, he's a human too. And yeah. all, and like, we're all individuals. We're all individuals, we all have man. Our own personal emotions, feelings. Hearts. Exactly. You know? And I really like that part in the course of course where he was like, if you want true beauty, you need a true sadness. Now you can under, now you can feel my madness. Like, bro, that that in itself, bro, is just like that is a crazy, crazy line right there, bro. Because it's like true beauty is a true sadness, bro. Like to be truly beautiful, it's there's sadness in that, man. And like to make something like to make something 
that's truly beautiful to you, you actually really need to feel it. You and like that's why, like for example, like some people like um, don't understand artists or how their mind works, and that's because it's like it's there's a madness to it. There is a madness that drives you to make it as beautiful as you can, and like in that in itself, it makes you just so like happy. It can make you sad, or so sad it can make you happy. You know, that's the crazy thing about art, man. It's it's all about creativity. It's all about bringing something out of you that you never knew you had, and that sometimes that's that's all we need. To be a human, you know what I'm saying? It's to bring beauty out of ourselves, you know what I mean? So be a human before you even tr attempt to do some art. Yeah. That's that. That's a crazy message, man. I'm I'm really digging this. I'm really digging this a lot. Like, I really can't... You painted the picture right there vividly. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a man, I'm a man of many words, you know? And I like to, I like to elaborate upon that. So, yeah, let, let, let's keep this going. Let's hear, let's hear what Arm got to say, man, because shoot. Damn! Woo! Yes, sir. That was dope, guys. So, um, yeah, it was Yoon. Um, I love this song. It's the first track uh, of the album Indigo. So if you guys love it, please check it out. Yes. Okay, so um, been doing music for 15 years. Mm. This is my, uh, you know, 10 years as BTS. But still, this is my first um, official solo album. And, um, you know, I, I went a whole all you know along all the way uh just just to release this 10 tracks and 10 um colors hey. um, out of my soul and out of my ego i guess hey fire so i think this time i finally could um show the world that i been really what, what's really inside me and what i really wanted to do hey. um so indigo is about the um about my um whole 20s actually fire. Uh, i've i've been making this album from 2019 with, with these guys and so it's been four years and it's like my from my 26 to 29 so i feel really strange and um next year actually you know next month um i'm gonna be 30. so welcome to the 30 year old crew there's only I'll one there with month, you soon. um in my 20s you know when when this album is finally released okay that was a long talk and now I'm, now I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> so um, next song is going to be... Quite a little fun fact. It's actually not good to uh, eat a lot before a big performance. Uh, one, because of jitters. And two, because it can actually stop your diaphragm from expanding the right way. Mm. So just a little, just a little, just a little bit. Uh, that's why he's starving right now, guys. Because he probably hasn't eaten in like mm. an hour or two. He probably ate a big breakfast and was like, okay, cool. I can't eat for a while. So that's why he's probably chugging water to kind of fill up his belly. Uh, and feel something in there. So yeah. Just, he gonna, just... He gonna have a feast though after he's done. Oh, but he's probably gonna smash. He's probably gonna smash. <laughs> he's he's probably gonna smash. Hey, but by the way, the I do want to say that I do want to take a time to say this though, guys. If you want us to react to the entire Indigo album, let us know in the comment section below. I really, I really, 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 I'm gonna draw my own regardless because I really, I'm really feeling what RM is talking, man. Like this is, I, I'm always a person who's really into like people who are just people who are people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, like I don't think I'm above anybody. I don't think I'm below anybody. I think there's always something to to learn from people like that. And I really feel like he 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 really explained to me. He was like, it's 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 the ten songs about color. Where like mm -hmm. color reflects personality, you know what I mean? It's crazy. He says is one of his favorite colors, is indigo, because that's actually one of my favorite colors, along with green and black. And one of my daughter's favorite colors too is uh, is indigo slash purple. I've, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna chime in on that. So another artist, his name is Jay Belvin. He has an album. He's a reggaetonero, reggaeton artist, and he has an album called Colores. Mm -hmm. And it's talking about all the colors that pretty much meant something to him. So this is, uh, if I, in other words, I feel like this is another album is about that. That's similar to that. The colors, so, of, the colors of your soul. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like obviously red's anger and green can be envy or it can be something else. You know what I mean? Uh, pink's, pink's love and stuff like that, man. Like colors, colors and music and all that stuff. It's all interrelated. It's all yeah, the only difference man. is J Balvin's songs um, were named after colors. So mm. that's the difference between this album and mm -hmm. that album. But we definitely got to check this one out. Without a doubt, you guys put it on the Patreon. If you want to, uh, ch you know, check us out on Patreon, we'll have this album on there because this album is, I mean, it's And we'll classic. definitely make sure to make sure to pick From some of the favorites. From the songs we've heard and yes. the song that I know he's going to perform next, which is Still Life with Anderson Pack. You think so? Yes. Yes. Definitely. Oh, yeah, that's a great song. <laughs> that, 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 that's a great one, um, which we reacted to. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. so you guys, you guys definitely got to check that out because we had a blast. I kind of, I'm not going to lie, I, I, before we reacted to this, I saw the description. Oh, okay. That's how I know. Cheater! <laughs> <laughs> You're but, not being real, 
no, I'm just kidding. No, 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 that one, it, it made me, we were dancing that one. Like, dude, that one, still alive. Yeah, it's just, it's just the mood. I mean, like I said, the Erica Badu track, um, C, uh, so, I mean, even though CO or you, thought the track that was not on his album, but on his mixtape, he corrected me from earlier. Mm hmm. He, RM's a, a, a an artist, man. This guy for he's, real. He's, he's he has great talents. He make he makes music for the you song. Know, individually he for the heart and the soul. or a BTS. I mean, regardless of the cases, man, he's he's good, man. He's and then and this is and like and he said it himself, bro. Like this is his chance to show us exactly who he is and what he's been kind of sitting on and festering on and what's been kind of in his heart. You know what I mean? Because like obviously when you're part of a group, you kind of have to go with the motion of the ocean, kind of so to speak, for lack of a better term. But with this, his first solo album, you gotta do this all himself, guys. So make sure, like he said, you go watch that, you check that out, because we definitely are, guys, and we really hope you guys are gonna be here for that because we cannot wait. I honestly, personally, cannot wait to react to that entire album because I. I'm I'm loving it so far. Yeah, let's get into this. Actually, it's fun. Um, it's funny. It's a second. It's a number two, track two, out of this album, and it's called Steel Life. Hey. So I wrote Still this life. song, actually, out of the museum. So uh, I I went to some random museum and I saw a a title called Steel Life. A mm. lot of actually a lot of paintings were titled Steel Life. Ooh. And uh, I felt really strange because. It was like the painting in um, some, what is it, like 19th century by Monet or Van Gogh or Cezanne. So the flower uh, as a model of the painting is, you know, dead like a century ago. Yeah. But it's you know, still alive in the painting uh, by the painters themselves. So they gave the birth, uh, actually the eternal birth mm. or life to the flowers by um, painting. So, but you know, when I see the still life, you know, like a canvas, because because my life is like a like a canvas. I'm I'm exhibiting my life to the whole world, like everywhere, um, America, Asia, Europe, everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, but still life is still, you know, it's stuck on the canvas, you know, but it's alive and eternal and still moving forward. So it's about a still life and that's still what you moving forward. In the song. Let's go. I'm sorry, I gotta take a moment, man, to just appreciate <laughs> this dude's mind, bro. Like the way he the way he thinks about things, bro, it's it's such a beautiful it's thing and refreshing it's thing, impressive. bro. Like still like obviously he's referring to a, a type of art, which is where they they it's 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 almost like taking a photograph, you know what I'm saying? Like where they say a picture's worth a thousand words, man, like paintings can be worth a million. And I really like what he, the description he just gave. That's a phenomenal description of of the way he the way he incorporated it. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like it it's this moment in time where Vincent Van Gogh, or you know, all these other great, uh, all these other great Monet, stuff like that, bro. Where they just capture a moment, and then we're still mesmerized by it a hundred years later, or, or or more than a hundred years later. You timeless. know what I'm saying? It's a timeless, it's a timeless thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, think about, think about, um, water lilies on a pond by by, by Monet, man. It's it's it, it's a beautiful picture of just water lilies on a pond, right? It's it's it seems so simplistic, like oh man, that's that's so easy, but it's like. No, man, it's a capturing of a moment. And, and if you can look beyond the meaning of just what you see there, man, you can really get the entire picture. That's when art really becomes this crazy thing where you just become mesmerized by it. And it's really cool that he, that he loves art that much. And it's, mm -hmm. and like, it's reflecting in his music. How much art, like painting and picture art is such an influence on him and his music and how he performs and what he actually brings to us. So, sorry, I said I'd give my two cents there, guys. I, this is, it's great to even just hear him talk about the way he does. My favorites. Yes, dude. <laughs> second on the track too, or second, second on the album too. Wait till the drums come in. Let's feel so good. I'm still alive. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm still alive. Yo, what? I'm still alive. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm still alive. Yo, what? Uh, I'm still alive, but I'm moving. The lip now, go forward, yeah. Monk Fuji on the drum work. Mm. Don't be one night culture. Give me no name, cause I'm untied. Cause I'm trunchy, gonna nap time. Woo, yeah, put a dose on. Mm. I just dose out. Hey. Fuck on cover up, go meet them, morning. Two color kill, as a sun goron. Cause when I was for eat, can't bust that turn. On your white lady, nigga, to the gunner. Nah, cause you're downtown, how you left her time. 24 7, yeah, baby, I'm all time. Nah, cause you're all new, this out of ill bone. It's your mother got your job without a wash. You know, back me, cause. Oh, yeah, 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 y
Y'all can lock me in the frame, I'm moving Yeah, yeah, I'm still alive Hey, what? Life is flat and dead to death, I'm proving Yeah, yeah, I'm still alive, but I'm moving Your lip now, go forward, yeah Mom, could you get a drunk more, huh? Go be one night, go to I'm still alive, but I'm moving Your lip now, go forward, yeah Mom, could you get a drunk more, huh? Yo, I never stop, baby, let's get it now Her case might take one brother Baby, now I'm torn with a shit Got it, but I can't show them with the chimney Need beat, but I got bottle to the old line And most of got off Trans set up, I'm a friend better It's not just a junk, though I go and get up Try to go nigga, one of them, they don't do it Yeah, I'm not going to die, I'm not going to die I'm not going to die, I'm not going to die I'm not going to die Look at my tie tie tattoo. Can't leave you so easy. Can't now I'm dead. Worst Samuel in the body down down by Pharaoh. What a perfection. Look at your chain. Me better do it like look at my stain. Only this how I got choked. Choked them down. Watch choked. Choked them, but I never stay. Hey, shit happens in life. But what happens? What happens is shit. Hey, shout out to Anderson. Yeah. Y'all just reach some steel life. We gotta move forward. Never look back. Ah, let's get it up. I'm still alive. Uh, hey, y'all can lock me in the frame. I'm moving. Yeah, yeah, I'm still alive. Uh, hey, life is better than the death. I'm moving. Yeah, yeah, I'm still alive, but I'm moving. Just live now, go forward. Yo, mom, you got the drunk mood, huh? Go be one night coach. I'm still alive, but I'm moving. Just live now, go forward. Yo, mom, you got the drunk mood, huh? Yo, I never stop, baby. Let's get it now. Yo, I never stop, baby. Let's get it now. Yo, I never stop, baby. Let's get it now. Oh, yo, I never stop, baby. Let's get it now. Ow! Go, yo, peace out. Oh no, yo, man. You can't tease us like yo. that. Yo, <laughs> hey. Hey, we need we need a second part to this. God bless it, man. Please. Play the rest of your songs on the NPR Tiny Desk. I can, I can listen to that song on repeat day in and day out. Shout out to all the people who were involved with this, guys. My yes. goodness, man. Shout out to all the, all, all the, all the artists. Um, uh, 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 I think it was J.K. Kim. Uh, oh, my goodness. No. I'm forgetting their names. Dang it. Sorry. I try, I try to make sure I remember their names. But yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I remember J.K. Kim. I believe, I believe he was either the bassist or, or the drummer, man. But shout out to the guitarist. I heard, I heard your little solo there at the very end. And that was killer. I, lo I love the sweeps you were doing, man. Just that, oh, it's had such like this funky, jazzy feel to it, bro. And my heart lives in jazz, funk, and blues, man. So like, oh my God. This this album is going to be great, guys. This album is going to be great. And I mean, this, this album... It's gonna be it's, great because we haven't listened to yeah, it. Yeah, well, I'm I'm speaking in like in like the terms of like <laughs> like me. You know what I'm saying? I know this album is great, obviously. Uh, but but we haven't listened. We to haven't listened the whole entire album yet, and like we got yeah. a little taste. We, we got the first two tracks. We wanted to save it, you know, for yeah. We really want to save it for you guys. You know what I mean? Like to make sure that you guys really enjoy it and um, to make sure it's it's just a fleshed out, beautiful thing. Ah, uh, I, I, I definitely say that, yeah, the, the full album reaction will definitely be a Patreon thing, without a doubt, guys, but I definitely would not mind uh, putting out some of our personal favorites out on the uh, podcast as well here on YouTube for you guys, so you guys can enjoy it with us just as much. But again, of course, obviously, the full entire album reaction from start to finish will be on our Patreon, guys, so you guys can go follow that at... Um, Club CNN. Jeez. Yes. Thank you very it's much. I was like, ah! <laughs> so, Club CNN. So you can follow us on Club, Club CNN, CNN on Patreon. That's the link right. is in the description below. Hello. Sorry, guys. It's been a while since we actually promoted talked it. Talked about the, the Patreon. About yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, but, but we had taken a, a, a fall back on producing a lot of stuff, so we wanted to make sure that we didn't really talk about it because we were like, you know what? We want to make sure we can bring more content to you guys before we start getting back that back on track and stuff like that. Uh, this was first, obviously. We also you are have, the, we, the original family. You are say, we, also, we also have Instagram, too. Yes, we have Instagram as well, guys. You go follow us at the cnn.podcast podcast. on Instagram, guys. Um, I'll make sure to put all the little, you know, symbols and stuff here where you guys can see it and it'll look really cool. Right? Anyways. Uh, <laughs> guys, yeah. I, I, you, I don't... I, what can you I'm say, man? Bro. I'm speechless, bro. Like, and I'm it's really awesome. It's really awesome how Arm gives you that little description, like beforehand, and explains like where he got the idea for the song, because it really makes you appreciate the song just that much more. Because mm -hmm. I first thought it was, like, I thought it was like, like, like still alive, like still live, like you know, like I'm still alive, but it really adds a whole other depth, mm -hmm. like a whole other depth to the song mm -hmm. itself when he explains where it comes from and stuff like that, and. Man, woo! I gotta say that he, was each song that he. Uh, I mean, I feel like BTS was a, a, a lot. Regardless, uh, BTS, RM, they have meaning that's beyond means mm -hmm. to the songs that they produce, 
the songs that they release. They want to have music with a message. Yeah. You know what I mean? They want they want to release anything. That, that's great. Like that's great. That's, that's what's really artistry gonna... in its finest. And so. there's a reason why these guys are becoming so famous all over the world because mm -hmm. I feel like people have craved that for so it's like long. It brings music. that uh like that old feel back. Yes, man. It brings back the music, soul to music, music, man. Right. Music meant something. Yes. I think earlier today we were hanging out with some friends and uh you know um his wife mentioned that um. You know, music, you, music doesn't have the same sound anymore. They don't make music the way, like the like way they the used 80s. to. Yeah, like in the 80s and 70s and, and like, even you know. Even early 90s. Even early 90s. Yeah, they say, oh, the music is made like that anymore. But hey, these these guys right here, BTS, SB19, K-Click, Force Park Boys, Dala, they're all changing that. They're changing They're changing that prerogative. They're changing that mentality. And they're making some of the best music they can Black produce. Black Pink. Black Pink. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Jesus I mean, there's, Christ. There's some heavy hitters out there in South Korea, man. Black yeah, Everywhere. Pink. Everywhere, man. I mean, there, I, it's everywhere, but the, I mean, Black Pink and... Uh, you know, BTS, yes, they, man, they stand, they stand, uh, they stand really out. atop of a lot, a lot of those uh, groups. But like, I feel like they're really inspiring a lot of people to change the way they look at music, you know, and change the way that they produce music. I mean, and we, it's not we just, just about, we touched the tip of the iceberg. We, we, exactly. We literally just touched the tip of the iceberg guys. And we cannot wait to get further on this journey with you guys, La Familia. And if you guys enjoyed this reaction as much as we did, you guys already know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and, and join, join La Familia, Familia on, on the, the road, road to 40K. 40K. But until, until the next time, time peace.